Hey guys, I device Hope here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about iOS 13.2 developer beta 2. This is my weekly follow-up where I talk about the battery, the performance, and any additional new features and changes that I've noticed after using the software for several days. Now in these videos, I also like to talk about my YouTube community poll. This is where you guys also provide some feedback and let me know how the software is performing for you. And this helps everyone understand how the beta is performing overall. This helps us get a bigger understanding of how the software is coming along so far. Now, iOS 13.2 has been out for approximately five to six days as of the filming of this video. We're also going to be talking about when we can expect the next beta for this software. Now, there's great news with this software, but there's also some bad news as well. Now, first, I want to talk about performance itself. Now, when it comes to the control center, haptic touch, animations, 3D touch, the actual app switcher, everything is flowing perfectly as intended. However, one thing I've noticed is with dictation and speech, Siri here continues to crash the device. So for example, here's a conversation and message. If I tap and hold to click on speak, it'll crash the messages app. Now this continues to happen with emails. This continues to happen with Safari. Third-party applications continue to crash, and Apple has been working on Siri, search, and dictation. This is something new in the latest beta, and this could be the reason why we see Siri and speech causing crashes through the platform itself. Now, iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 2 was released, as I mentioned, approximately five to six days ago. And we can expect the next beta sometime this week, the week of the 14th. So anytime now, Apple could be releasing iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 3. And this software brings a ton of great new features and changes. If you want to watch my initial coverage on everything, I'll link it down below. Again, this is going to be the follow-up where I talk about the performance, the bugs, and everything else. Now let's head on over to YouTube and check out the YouTube community poll. Now this week's question was, how is iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 2 and Public Beta working for you guys. Now we have approximately 2,800 votes and a 57% of you guys are having a great experience. 24% still encountering some bugs as I am as you just saw there in this video. And a lot of you guys, 8% actually, are having a lot of bugs. I would like to see what kind of bugs so you guys can leave a comment down below. Also, make sure you leave the device name so we can all understand what kind of bugs are still occurring. I noticed that there's been some glitches and problems with iPads, and we'll get to that here in a few seconds. And up 2% is bad. So from 8 to 2% bad and 2% increase here, 10% uh, of you guys are having a bad experience. Now, it looks like iPhone 6S users are having a great experience according to this comment here, one of the most popular ones. We also have here that and this update was very much needed for iPhone XR users. It appears that iPhone XR users are having great battery life and performance. I have to definitely agree with that. I'll give you my feedback on my iPhone 11 Pro here in a few seconds. The trend continues to be great battery life here. Performance of the battery is awesome, as you can see here. So iPhone XR users are encountering great battery performance out of this beta. So that's, of course, always good. Now, the iPads have been encountering boot loops. And yes, so when you click to update iOS 13.2 from beta 1 to beta 2, it appears that multiple users, multiple iPad users, are encountering a boot loop where the iPad would just get stuck on the Apple logo or any black screen. So if that happened to you, unfortunately, that's just the nature of beta software. Hopefully you backed up and you can restore your device once again. Now, another group of iPhone users, iPhone SE users are having a great, great performance. I have to agree with this. The iPhone SE has been the best performance device on the latest beta. It's been snappy, the battery has been good, and uh, it's been great for iPhone SE users since its initial release for iOS 13.2. And as you can see here, there's a, just a ton of comments here where you guys can refer to this uh, YouTube community poll and read and also have a conversation to understand if you're having any issues. The YouTube community poll is up every week, every time there's a new beta, so you can check it out here on YouTube. Now, my personal experience with iOS 13.2, I have to say that the battery seems to be going in the right direction. If you follow me here on the channel, last week with beta 1, the battery was a disaster. Now with beta 2, I'm getting all day battery life, which is good. Not as good as it was before with 13.1.2, but we're getting there. We're getting to eight, nine hours of battery life of on-screen time with the beast, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. One thing that I am a little bit ticked off about is that we do have the ability to change the video resolution on the Pro models and the iPhone 11, and Apple has not brought this to other iPhones, which is somewhat disappointing. Hopefully with future betas, we'll see this 
for all iPhones where we can change the resolution on every single iPhone directly within the camera's application. It's a new feature for the iPhone 11 and 11 Pros, and hopefully Apple will bring that to all iPhones. Fingers crossed. And also Apple, let's bring a new menu here, a drop-down menu. This seems just kind of lazy from your part. Let's try to fix that. But anyway, guys, that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys with iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 2, the follow-up. Of course, we can anticipate this new beta coming up here shortly. Be sure to subscribe for more cool features and changes to iOS. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.